Hey guys, my name is Matt Newbrick here, and today we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cover another series of gun disarms. Just understand, when we always train with guns, we are training with training guns. Do never, ever go ahead and train with real firearms. I don't care if the magazine is out, I don't care if you know that there's no uh, ammunition in it. We wanna make sure that we stay as safe as possible so we can continue to train and live a good life. So hang with me here. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cover some gun disarms, but we wanna do so from, I think, a position that's not covered that often. Uh, as I go ahead and I search the internet or I see what our you know, might be on other people's uh, self-defense curriculums. Everybody has their gun right high to the face, and it's important to make sure that we cover that kind of scenario as well. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna drop it down to about belly or lower back level for all of these. Now, I'm gonna cover a bunch of different kinds of scenarios, but I think you're gonna see is you're gonna see a lot of these start sharing a lot of similarities, and that is our goal. We don't wanna go ahead and have to recreate the wheel each and every time. All right, in the first kind of position we're gonna handle, we're gonna handle from a frontal gun disarm, but it's once again gonna be low in the belly right here. So person is gonna go ahead and point it right at the belly button right there. We wanna make sure that we have our hands always at the position or the level that the gun is at. Meaning that if the gun is high up here, notice that my hands are right here. If it is low, my hands are right here. I can still act passive, which is obviously the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we act compliant in order to bring down the emotional intensity that this person has. So as we go through right there, I love contact. If I can go ahead and have contact right here, it's even better because the first thing we're gonna do is clear that weapon. When we clear that weapon, we're turning right here. But as we do so, I wanna make sure that we go ahead and have some help here from our hand. So we wanna go ahead and roll right here, just like this. And the second thing we're gonna do is the weapon is going to be manipulated and isolated this way. As I turn, I wanna use my whole body in here. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go through that again. Hands are right here, this is my clear, okay? Hand goes up right here. I just don't want hand strength. I want the whole body crunching down, and then I can go ahead and I can hit here as I clear the weapon and move back, just like we do in all of our firearm disarms. So once again, when we're right here, all we're doing is I'm turning right here, pop, and here, okay? One last time, here, here, pop, that's all we're doing. And that is position number one. Second position we're gonna to go to uh, for our low gun disarms is someone has it at your belly, but they're on our side. Now, I even break it down one more uh, kind of way right here is to make sure that is in front of the arm. We're gonna cover in back of the arm, but right now we're gonna cover in front of the arm. When we go ahead and we do that, our hands can still be out right here. I can still act passive in this kind of side position right here. When we do so, we wanna go ahead and clear. As we clear, I love to get closer to the person right here like this. So this is right here and I pop right here. Same kind of disarm as we just did. Once again, we want as many problems solved with as least amount of answers as possible. So if I bring Casey right here, he's right here, my hands are right here. And all I do is when I clear, I pop out this way, I step in and there is my disarm. That is position number two. Position number three, just like I promised right here, where it's gonna be on the side, but instead of the gun being in front of the arm, now the gun's gonna be in the back of the arm. Okay, so as we go right here, our hands can still be out. Once we're in this position right here, we're gonna use a little bit of a dis different disarm because of the hand and the gun position right here. From here, I'm gonna clear by sweeping this way, covering through, locking down, stretching out, and if this looks familiar, it should. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out our other basic gun disarm video. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at that position again. As Casey has it right here, I want it down just like this. When I go ahead and I clear, this is my clear movement. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring Casey on this side right here, okay? Just so you guys can see it from another position. This is the clear situation that we want. Boom, that's the clear movement. So Casey, I'm gonna have you right back over here again. And back of my arm, just like we said. So we're down here just like such. And as we do this, I turn and I sweep. Turning is good. Sweeping is good. Turning and sweeping, they kind of act like insurance policies for each other. So as I go right here, this is my turn. That's my elbow. Shoulder lock right there. When I shoulder lock, I'm just not pulling down on the shoulder. I'm rolling the shoulder forward. This hand goes right here on the neck. I stretch this out just like such. Go ahead and grab the weapon. I can hit right here if I want to. Make sure that we're always stepping back, always clearing the weapon. We are already up to position number four. If I have Casey on this side right here to the low line in front of my arm, just like this, hands can be out, okay? I'm gonna slow this down just because we wanna make sure that everybody understands what we're doing. I am stepping on in here. This is going here, 
forcing back, crunching with the whole body. Same thing I can hit right here as I step back and clear. Let's go over that one more time. So as I go right here, hands are out just like this. Okay, I wanna go ahead, I wanna clear to the inside just like this. It's a slight little bump. So even if I do this, this is the movement, but I like to track that arm. That means that I can't slap it so much that I lose track of it. So when I do so, it's a slight bump to let in my body so I can go ahead and follow up just like such here. That is position number four. All right, we are now on to position number five for low lying gun disarm. Now we covered a lot of these ones right here. You're not gonna find this information a whole lot on other videos, so I'm glad that you're staking with us. So once again, let's move on to position number five. He is on the same side that we just did, but now it's in back of the arm, okay? When he's in this position right here, we're actually gonna go ahead and roll on out and then go this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reverse this just so you can see it from behind. Casey's gonna be on this side and the gun's right here. As I go right here, this is my clear pop. That's my clear. So if I go ahead and I do that right here, this is my clear here, pop. Then I go ahead and I can take this weapon away. Let's go over that again. Mm. I'm gonna go through it slowly right here. I don't want a huge movement because I don't want to lose track of it. Just a slight little bump in order for me to close the gap and go ahead and take that weapon away. We are to the final one, number six that I want to cover in this video. We have the low line, but it's right to our back right here. So if Casey's holding that gun to the back, all I want to do is make sure my hands are low just like this. This sweep and this turn, it should look familiar because we use it in a lot of other positions. So as we do this, it's like this, my shoulders are up, acting submissive. I'm saying whatever I need to say, use a soft tone, whatever it is. But then when I decide to disarm, I'm gonna go ahead and turn right in here. I am elbowing, I'm wrenching. And as we always say, this should look familiar right here as I do that. One little caveat that I wanna make to that shoulder lock right there. A lot of my students, what they end up doing is when they go ahead and do this move right here, they'll go ahead and they'll try to reach for, you know, reach for the gun here. I don't want you guys to do that. Stretch that arm out all the way just like this. Now I see what the weapon is. I can take it out a little bit more under control as I go ahead and do that. Those are all six positions for our low line gun disarms.